Good morning and welcome to Timeline. I'm Lorana. And I'm Mandy. This week, MBU students are involved in the second annual Awake Project. The event kicked off with prayer and worship in the Recita Hall on Sunday, and students have devoted 15 minutes a day to intentional prayer. Get excited, MBU. Thanksgiving break starts Wednesday. Enjoy your time off. Classes resume Monday, November 29th. What does Thanksgiving look like to you? University Communications wants to know. Email your best Thanksgiving photo and you could win a $20 gift card to The Perk. You can get more information on Timeline Online. You may get into the holiday spirit by hitting the stores on Black Friday, but here at MBU, the hanging of the green is how we ring in the Christmas season. Join us Tuesday, November 30th in the Great Hall for this MBU tradition. Immediately following the hanging of the green, stick around for some Christmas classics sung by the MBU ministry teams. The MBU Fine Arts Department is sponsoring the Christmas Care Project. Here's Meredith Hall with more information. Looking for a way to make a difference this holiday season? Well, the MBU Fine Arts Department is giving you an opportunity to get involved with an organization that helps those in need. So the CAC is a Christian activity center in East St. Louis, Illinois, and they help kids ages 6 to 18 with homework, with meals after school. It's really a haven for the kids in their surrounding neighborhood who don't really have anywhere else to go. So the CAC is really, really making a difference. And um, that's why MBU Fine Arts is so excited to partner with them. We're having a toy and non-perishable food drive uh, for the CAC to help replenish their um, supplies. You can drop off your new toy, uh, your non-perishable food item or a cash donation if you'd like in the Fine Arts office and you can leave it with Sarah Dickey. So MBU, when you're out doing your early Christmas shopping on Black Friday, make sure you pick up some non-perishable food items, a toy, or you can even donate some money to the Christmas Care Project. Do your part in sharing some holiday cheer this season to those in need. For Timeline, I'm Meredith. Thanks Meredith. With news from student activities, here's Bree. Thanks Mandy. Hello Spartans. When we get back from Thanksgiving break, the campus will be gearing up for Christmas. To start the season off, join us for the Hanging of the Green, MBU's greatest holiday tradition. Students, faculty, staff, and alumni gather in the Great Hall each year to hear the Christmas story, sing carols, decorate the tree, and count down to the official lighting of the campus. We'll see you on Tuesday, November 30th at 6 p.m. It is said that the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Stick around after Hanging of the Green for the Ministry Group's Christmas concert at 7.30 p.m. Be sure to catch our next Student Activities Report to find out how you can get in on free food and a nice break from studying for finals. For Timeline, I'm Bree. See you around. Thanks, Bree. With a look at sports, here's Austin. Thanks, ladies. Women's volleyball season is officially over. The Spartans finished out their season coming in second place in the conference tournament. They ended a respectable season with a record of 21-17. and 17. Good job, ladies. Men's and women's cross country start their run at the National Championship this Saturday in Vancouver, Washington. Make sure to wish them luck as they compete to bring back a national title. Congratulations to this week's Athlete of the Week, Joe Kent. Kent, a junior heavyweight wrestler from Miami, Florida, won four straight matches and emerged undefeated in the 2010 K Young Open, winning his division. Keep up the good work, Joe. Here are the scores from this week's games. Here are the schedules for upcoming games. That's your sports. I'm Austin, and with Thanksgiving coming up, remember to be thankful for such a great sports anchor. Thanks, Austin. For Timeline, I'm Lorana. And I'm Mandy. Have a fun and safe Thanksgiving.